Okay. Oof. Math 2020, 2010, section 2.9. Okay, so we just have a couple more sections for chapter two, and uh, then we'll test on it for section, for unit two, I should say. So we're just going to do examples with drawings of chip models. Subtract 432 in base 5, 140, minus 144 base 5. So we're going to subtract 144 base 5 from 432 base 5. Then we're going to use a chip model. Okay. So our first thing to do is we need to set up uh, our chip model drawing, so our chart or table or graphic organizer, whatever you want to call it. In our places, we have numbers that go to three digits. So this is the fives, so the leftovers place, the ones. This place right here is the fives. This place right here is the 25s. So all we have to go is in our columns is to go up to 25s place. And I call it the five squareds place, whatever you want to call it. We also have the fives place, which is five to the first. We also have the ones place, which is five to the zero. Okay. Now we're going to do 432, which there's four digits in the third column, three in the second, two in the first. So that is the same as base 10. This is my 432, base 5. What am I going to do with that? I need to subtract off 144 from it. But in subtraction, you don't model the second number. You want to cross it out. So I usually write myself a note here that says to cross out um, 144, base 5. Okay, so we're going to cross those out, and then we'll know what the, the, re, the difference will be. So I cross out 100 here. That's all I need to cross out for the hundreds, or sorry, not the hundreds, the 25s. Then I need to cross out um, 4 from the 5s column. Okay, but I don't have 4 to cross out. And so what do you guys recommend we should do? Somebody. You would take one out of the 25s column and put five dots in the fives column. Excellent. We're working in base five, so each one of the dots in the left column is worth five of the one in the right column, next to the right. And so I'm going to kind of use this kind of crossing out, little one slash. Instead of an X, put those dots, break them up into groups of five. So right now they're groups of 25, so I can break them up in groups of five, which there are five of those. Okay. I broke them up down here. Now I can go ahead and, and cross out uh, four of these. So that's a five. Okay, my next one is to cross out the ones, which I have four of those, but I only have two ones right now. So we're going to slash off one of these. Let's do this one. And then we'll bring it over to here. Cross it out. This will now become, it's a group of five. Now I'm going to do five ones here. Just five of them. Now I have enough ones to cross out four ones. One, 
this line. Two, three, four. All right, so what do I have left from all of my breaking down and crossing out? You can also use the takeaway model. You want to draw arrows out. There's two of the 25s. Three, of the, three of the fives. And three of the ones. And the number is two, three, three, base five. So in summary, 432 base 5, subtract 144 base 5 is equal to 233 base 5. No, Dr. B. Yeah. I have a question. Why do you start on the left rather than the right like you do in the standard algorithm? So on this one, we started over in the 25th place. Mm -hmm. rather than in the ones place. So I'm just curious, why do you start on the left and not the right? Oh, you could do the right if you want. So it doesn't matter. Toes, yeah. What's great okay. about chip models, it doesn't matter. With Thank that, you. With, the, with these concrete models, it doesn't matter. Like the base block model will be the same way. Okay, so that's actually where we're headed next is base block. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Four thirty-two minus one forty-four, all in base five, using the base block model. What's the first thing you have to have with the base block model? before you start drawing things. A key. You have to have a key, right. Start with the key. What should your key be for this one? What will be each block be worth? Your hundreds would probably be a flat. Okay. So thousands. Now we're in base, we're in base uh, five, so there aren't really any hundreds. So we have groups of five squared or 25, right? Well, the cube will be 125s, the flat, on the right track, the 25s, the five squared place. We have a rod is going to correspond to the fives place, a group of five cubes. And then the dot will be little cubes correspond with ones, which are five to the zero. That's the good key. What I want you guys to do is I want you to subtract those two numbers using the base block model and drawings. But we're going to do this in groups. I'll set you into groups again at random. Because after you subtract, I want you to do this problem where it is um, using a chip model. So another chip model example. You also want to subtract 2001 base 3 minus 212 two, base 3. Say 2001 zero, zero, base 3 minus 212 base 3 with the chip model. We can put those, both of those problems up there. So you guys can have that. You guys have that written down. I'll stop sharing and go into groups and set those up. You guys can talk amongst your groups, solve the problem, explain why, or show each other what, what you've been doing.
Okay, so everybody's been assigned and you can go ahead and head into those. Okay, so we have Mary Dean. Good. Okay, Thank good. Uh, Marley. Good. Before you change the screen, I have the 2001. Can someone show me that they have? Yeah, so it's two zero zero one base three minus two one two base three. Yes, and we have to do that one with a chip model. Yeah. Oh, okay. And drawings are sufficient. For that one. We're doing this one with the base blocks. Yeah, the right. first one. Right. 432 base 5 minus 144 base 5 using base blocks. Base blocks. Okay. I think it's just the same as the chip model where you just cross it out, right? Yeah, just do cross out. Just exchange like 10 group or one group of 10s for 100. Is that what you're Okay, go with that. You're gonna be working in base five, so. Yeah, so we're still doing five. Sorry, yeah, that's what I'm. How's this group doing? Good, we're still figuring it out. <laughs> on, the, on the first one? I think, I think we're all doing the second one right now. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. How'd the first one go? Good. 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 Can somebody share with me what they've found? All right, I'll try. Where is it? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine. So tell me what you drew. I drew four flats mm -hmm. and three sticks and two dots. And I subtracted the one flat. I needed to take away a flat to add to my sticks. I don't remember what we're calling those. Oh, those are called rods or longs. <laughs> Rods, I'm having a really hard time today. <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay, so I um, so I added those. I added five of the rods, and then I subtracted the four, and took away a rod to add to the dots, and then took away those four, and ended up with two flats, three rods, and three dots. Okay, great. Yeah, so the the key is the exchange, and this one is one for five instead of one for ten like in base 10. Mm -hmm. Good. You guys are working on the second one, so I'll go ahead and find a group and you guys can continue on. So thanks, Shelby. Thank I was like, yeah. Okay, how's it going, group? You guys get the first two already? Yes. Yeah, so how about someone present? Um, tell us how you did that. Someone not say because she talks a lot. 
which is great though, by the way, but I want to hear from other people too. I'm still working on it because I accidentally did it in base 10. So give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> then we have number one. So Kenna or Melissa? You can just kind of talk it out. So I missed the problems for number one, but I'm kind of confused on the chip chart too. So I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay. Kenna, do you got any of those? Either one will be fine. Too. Okay. I missed the first one too, sorry, and I'm still working on the second. Okay. All right. I'll come I'm back. I'm done if you want me to. I'll come back. <laughs> Actually, we won't. We probably should get going. Okay, so go ahead, Sid. Tell us what you did. Um, okay, so I started in the ones because that's easier for me. Um, and so there was zero in the middle two, so the threes in the ninth place. So I took out of the 27s, there was two. So I took one of them and slid it over to the ninths and then added three into the ninth place. Then I still don't have enough, so I or in the ones place. So I took another out of the nines and put it in the threes. Then I had to take one more out of the threes and put it into the ones. And then I subtracted two off of, or took, crossed out two mm -hmm. out of the ones place. And the rest of this, I just did all my crossing out because it was all able to do it. So then I crossed one out and then in the threes place, two in the nines place. And then I didn't have anything to cross out in the two, in the 27s place. So I had two left over in the ones place, one left over in the threes place, zero left over in the nines place, and one left over in the 27s. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so she said a lot of things. I want Aspen and Kenna and Melissa to kind of confer a little bit as a group. And I'm gonna go check on the one more group and then we'll come back to this as a class. Okay. Good work. Okay. How's this group doing? Good. We got done already, so I was asking them how to do the homework. Oh, okay. Um, tell us about uh, how'd you guys do the first one? We're 432 base 5 minus 144 base 5 using base block. So if you write out the first base number and then you cross out the one that you need to cross out for the 144 and then you drag the one and break it up into the five bars mm -hmm. and then take out the other four and then you use one of these bars to break it down into five and then you cross out the four to get your answer okay uh, let's see your answer looks like you have two 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 base five is that right oh and did i do it two, three, three. Two, three, three. Oh yeah i did two, i missed two, three, base the bar five. here yeah, I missed a whole one. I wrote one of the bars wrong. Okay. Yeah, so we had two, three, three, base five. Awesome. Okay. We'll go ahead and, and come back together as a class. So I'm going to leave and then I'll close the break room. Okay.
Okay. So then close all those. Okay, so welcome everybody back. And what we have is these two problems. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Let's have somebody kind of share their thoughts and I'll write just for the class notes here. So for the first one, we're subtracting these two numbers and we're using the base block model. So we wrote down our key So how do we solve this one? How do I set up the problem and how do I solve it? Do you have any thoughts? Brave soul. So you'd start with the four, three, two in the bar model. So four flats and then yeah, the flat. three bars. Okay. Okay, four flats. Three bars and three two bars. little cubes. Two little cubes. This right here is um, the number four three two base five. And what I'm going to do with that one is I'm going to I'm going to uh, cross out. Uh, 144 base 5. So how are we going to cross those out? Well, you need to cross out one of your flats first. Yeah, from that one, four, four, base five. So the one, the 25. So cross that one out. Okay. And then what do we do next? You would move on to the rods. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to take away four, but there's only three. So you're going to need to cross out another one of your flats to make another five. Okay, five rods, good. And then you can cross out four of your rods. Nice. Then your last one, you're supposed to take out four of your little cubes, which there's not enough. So you're going to cross out another rod and make five more of the cubes. Oops. Okay. Cross out rod here. And you get five more. Little cubes or dots. You need to cross out four of those. Okay, so I'm going to total them now so it's left. And all of that is there. And then there. Good. And we have two, three, three, base five, which concurs with our chip model. So in summary, we have. 432 base 5, subtract 144 base 5, 144 base 5, and that's going to equal 233 base 5. Okay, good. The next problem was. Subtract. 2001 base 3 and, two, and do that minus 212 base 3. Okay. Using a chip model. And so we have four places here. So I'm going to do 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1, 3 to 2, 3 to the 3. We'll start with our 27th place, which is 3 to the 3rd. 
we have our nines place, which is three squared. We have our threes place, which is three to the first. And we have our ones place, which is three to the zero. So a chip model, starting with two in the 27th place, and then one in the threes place. That's my two, zero, zero, one, base three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out two, one, two, base three. So can someone else who hasn't contributed yet guide me through this one? And we'll copy it down. Uh, I took one from the 27s place and turned it into three in the nines place. And then you can subtract two from that yes, you can. or cross out two. Um, and then you have to borrow or not, sorry, not borrow. Then you have to take one from the nines and turn it into three more in the threes place. Excellent. And then subtract one. And we'll cross out, or take cross out one. one. And then you have to take one from the threes and turn it into three more in the ones place. Why do I need to do that? Because uh, there's not enough chips to subtract two from. We only have two, so let's take one from here. Yep. And make break up into three. Breaking and up then the cross one. Cross out two. Three. No, cross out two of them. And so in the red, I've crossed out two from the nines place, one from the threes place, and two from the ones place. What do we have left over? And look at investigate each column. I have one from the 27s, none from the nines, and one from the threes, and two from the ones. So that makes one, zero, one, two, base three. Okay, so in summary, uh, two, zero, zero, one, base three, subtract two, one, two, base three, is equal to one, zero, one, two, base three. So I'll go through one more real quick. We're gonna subtract our 2,000, base three minus 212 base three. And using our base blocks. Now when we do this, we need a key. And what will our cube, big Q be on our key? 27s or three cubed. Yeah, we did, in our chip model, we were actually able to go that high. So did 27s, three cubed. The flat will correspond with which number do we assign to place value? Nines. Nines, yeah. Three squared. And then our rods will correspond with threes, group of three, three to the one. And then our little cubes or dots are going to correspond with the ones, which is three to the zero. Okay. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and draw a box. We have two cubes, two big cubes. And we have only one dot out here. 
And so this one is two, the other one is three. And we're going to cross out uh, two, one, two, is three. We can't, we can't cross out two of the nines place because we don't have anything in the nines place. We'll do that. And then that will become three flats. Okay, now we can cross out two of those flats. We, can, we don't have any rods to cross out, so we'll make this one three rods. And I'm going to move that over just a tiny bit. Then we can cross out one rod. And we need to cross out three or two little cubes. We don't have that many. Do that. Now we come three cubes here. And then cross out two. There's one, there's two. Looking at what we have left over, we have one of those cubes, no flats, one rod, and two little cubes, which corresponds to one, zero, one, two, those three. And in summary, zero, zero, one base three, subtract two, one, two base three, is equal to one, zero, one, two base three. Okay. Are we doing good so far on these? So entertaining and intriguing and awesome, right? Good stuff here. We want to subtract. We'll do just this one thing. We'll subtract, we'll just do the chip model with this one. We're running out of time. Three decimal four one base seven. Subtract one decimal six five base seven. Okay, with the chip model. And then, so here's, I'm gonna put you in a random other groups. We want to subtract those using a chip model, but we're also going to think about what it means for the word, um, we want other options for the word borrow. Okay. What, what is, uh, what is uh, misleading about the word borrow if we use that in teaching? And what other words can we use? So that's, that's the next part here. We're going to subtract those using a chip model. As it, and we answer these questions. So what is misleading about the term borrow and subtraction? What other terms can we use that are more accurate? Okay, and I want you to do this through the explaining 32. Subtract 18 using the algorithm. I'm going to explain this with 32 minus 18. Using the algorithm. Okay. So those are all of those right there are the things that we're going to talk about for the next 15 minutes. Any questions? Okay. 
There we have those down. Okay. Well, everybody else is in new rooms. Oops. We create with oh, four rooms. We create all rooms. There we go. Okay, so now they're all open, so you can join them. For me. Yeah, it's 3.41 base 7, subtract 1.65 base 7. And are we doing um, the chip model? First and, yeah. and the base model? Jet model first, yeah. but that's all. Okay. We're running out of time. Has everybody got what we're doing down? Let's make sure there's any initial questions. We got it, we're working on it. Awesome, all right. I'll check it with other groups. Okay, does anybody have any initial questions? Okay, great. Check out another room. So just the normal, how you learned in school. Oh. Um, yeah, and that, I think he asked the whole borrow thing first because then you oh, can like okay. explain gotcha. why you don't borrow it. I don't know. Anyways. Okay. Yeah, you guys have any initial questions on what we're working on right now? I don't think so. So we're okay. just doing like the normal subtracting 32 minus 18 in like the normal way that we know how. Well, that we've always learned, I guess. Yeah, so we want to yeah, explain that. We want to try practice explaining that without using the word borrow. So it might be a little bit trickier okay. or you might not have tried it before. Maybe you have, but we're gonna just kind of see how that goes as you try to use the words. Did we want to give it a go and try and and do that for the group? So I um, like to think of it as regrouping and unbundling. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the ones column, you don't have enough ones to subtract eight so you have to regroup one group of tens from the three and then it'll go you now have two groups of tens instead of three and you'll um you'll basically it's not 12 groups it's two and then another group so you have tw like the one and two minus eight that makes sense yeah one group of ten and two ones yep and minus eight and then you now have the four and mm -hmm. because you rebundled the tens, you only have the two groups. So you do two minus one group of 10 is one group of 10 left. Okay, great. 
Yeah, so the whole process is called regrouping where you take, yeah, you're gonna take, you're gonna break up the three or unbundle the three tens in 32. You did two tens and one ten. And then you put the one ten with the two ones in the ones column. Yeah, that whole process is regrouping. And when you're starting to break up, you can say breaking up the tens or unbundling the tens when you need to get that one ten out from there and leave the other two there. Okay. So great. All right. So I'm going to check in with other groups and we'll soon come back to the class. And whatever so that it becomes like 20 and 12 ones or whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, so what's that process? You're Tell me my question. <laughs> so yeah, just checking out this group. Uh, what's the process called that you're taking you're you're taking the 110 away from the three tens? Mm -hmm. What do you guys want to call that? Regroup. Yeah, regrouping. Or take away. So you're regrouping because you're going to take one ten from the three tens and put it with the two ones. So you're taking it out of one group and putting it into another group. That's where the regrouping part comes. Um, when you're taking it away from the three tens, you can say that you're going to break up the three tens into two tens and one ten, or you can say unbundle the three tens into two tens and one ten. And so there's a couple ways to say that part. But the whole process of putting the 10 with the two, so you have one 10 and two ones, um, to subtract from is called regrouping. Okay. So I'm taking some blocks from one group and putting them with the other blocks from the other group, if you want to think about base 10 blocks. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to check in with the other two groups. Okay, did you guys get the subtraction? You guys tried to explain 32 minus 18 without using the word borrow. Yes, that's kind of what we're working on right now. Okay, but anybody have any initial thoughts on that or? Um, I, just, I put that like you can't take eight from, you can't minus eight from two, so you had a take away 10 from 30, making it 20, and adding 10 ones to the ones place. Good. Yeah, so that's great. Yeah. Um, taking from the, taking is a good word to use because you're not gonna give it back. Uh, you can take one 10 from the 30, three tens. When it's, it's also good to go into the three tens and say, I'm gonna break up the three tens into two tens and one 10. And that one 10 I'm gonna take and put with my two ones in the ones column or the from the 32 so that i have one ten and two ones to take the eight ones away all right so that's good and the whole process of when you break up the three tens and taking one of them to put to the two ones that's the, called regrouping so you're taking the, some blocks from one group and putting them into another group okay so you're going to regroup them but they're all still going to be there in the problem Okay, so we'll come back together in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go check out one more room. Two tens. And then you could rebundle that group of tens with the two ones. So then you have the group of tens plus the, the two groups of one. And then you add that together then you would subtract that, get the four, and then you have the two groups of 10, subtract the one group of 10 to get your one. Very good, Mo. So I was just checking in to see how everybody's doing. That was a good explanation. And we're gonna go ahead and come back together to class. Does that sound okay? Yes. So Mo, did you wanna say that again for everybody else? Would that be okay? Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I will, I'll close the break rooms and then we'll have you say your explanation once everybody's back together. Thank you.
Okay, welcome back everyone. Go ahead and share my screen with the iPad. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and just, for time's sake, we'll have to go through this one quickly. Um, subtracting these two numbers using a chip model. We need to start with the ones place because that's our highest place and it won't spill over. We don't have enough ones to spill over until that's the sevens place. So that's the ones place. Seven to the zero power. Our, our next place over, so that's our, it has our decimal here. Our next place to the right is going to be what place? What can we name this place? So seven the is one. Normally we, in base 10, we call it tenths, but in the base seven. seven, we're gonna call it sevenths place. Okay. Seven to the negative one is one over seven. Okay, that's the sevenths place. And we got one more place over. And continue the pattern where we have, this is zero, this is negative one. This one has to be negative two place. And that's going to be one over the 49th place. It works opposite the uh, going from the, to the left. All right, so we have three here in my 3.41. There's four here, dots, and then one dot here. And I'm going to subtract off, cross out. One point six five. Okay. Let's cross out the one. Let me cross out six, but I only have four. So we'll make that one into seven more pieces here. Okay, it's great that the structure works the same no matter if you're working across decimal point or not. So, and we need to cross out four. No, sorry. Six, two, three, four, five, six. And then in the one in the forty ninth place, we're gonna need to cross out five forty ninths, and we have just one there, so we need to also cross one of these out and give seven of these here. And then we're gonna go ahead and cross out a total of five of those. So what we have left over is, hold on, I didn't draw three in the beginning. Nobody caught me on that. Okay, there's one of those, four of those, and three of these. We have one, four, three, three, seven. Does everybody concur with that? Looks like we're over time. You guys can feel free to take off if you need. Um, but Mo wanted to share about her. Her, uh, she's still around. You, Mo, do you want? To, do you mind saying a few words about subtracting? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, with the explanation of the algorithm. Yes, just what you were saying at the end. That was Oh, okay. we were just in our group and Sid was there and we were just talking about how we would use the term like rebundle and bundle and so we were saying that with the three you could unbundle it to make it into two tens and then you would rebundle it in the group of um, the two ones so then you would have the ten, a group of ten plus the two groups of one so you would have the 12 subtract the eight to get the four. And then you would have the group of tens, you would have the two subtract the one to get the one. Sounds great. Does anybody have any questions on that? Okay, well, that's all I had prepared. So you guys should be good to do the homework. And let me know if you have any questions. We can do uh, email or a Zoom chat.
So good luck on that. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you may. Is it just okay. for you or every other person on? Yeah, it's just about the homework on, okay. so on 65, on one through four in the book, I was just wondering, so this one right here, number one, mm -hmm. it says on 83 is this and this and this, like, am I just writing this number out in expanded form or the answer? No, well, you need to write it in an expanded form, but then how are you going to regroup those numbers so that you can subtract the numbers you need to subtract? I didn't see what the, the subtrahend was. Yeah, so it reads the number 82 is in expanded form, and then it says 800s, 310s, and 21s to find 832 minus 578. However, it is convenient to think of 832 as and yep. then but it already has it written in expanded form so i'm just wondering what we're writing it as it's on so let me share my screen here and i'll we can talk about it here so what page number was that on i'll get the book 65. Just so I can remember the numbers again. We need to do this problem here. Okay, so it's number one. So they say 832 is 800s, three tens, two ones. Okay. We need to subtract 832 uh, minus 578. Okay. But the way the, order, the numbers are written there, I can't subtract because I don't have enough. Like if you go from ones, then to tens, then to hundreds. Okay, so we need to think of 832 in a more convenient form. And that's what the, the, the breaking up or unbundling and regrouping helps us do. So 832 is 800s, three tens, and two ones. But if I want to take two ones, or eight, sorry, eight ones from two ones, I can't do that. So I have to think about the, getting the 10 from the, a 10 from the three tens here. Mm -hmm. So when I do that in my algorithm, I'm doing something like this, right? Right, where, where I break up the three tens here, I'm gonna use a different color. I'm gonna break up the three tens into two tens and one 10, and put that one 10 with the two. So we have 12 ones. Okay. And then we're going to, I need to subtract, I can subtract eight from 12 ones, yes. But my tens, I need to subtract seven tens from two tens, but I can't do that either. So I get a 10, for, I break up this hundred, eight hundreds, now I have seven hundreds and one, and one set of 10 tens. Okay. So that's where the 10 and the 12 comes from in the tens column. Oh, okay. So it. So yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking, breaking it down into borrowed form, so you can minus, like, kind right. of like you would in a chip model, but yeah. using it's the a, hundreds, tens, and ones place. Yeah, you're, you're, it's a regroup form. Okay. Because they're all regrouped. All my 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 hundreds I've taken from, my tens I've taken from, and put them in different groups. So that's where the regrouping comes from. Okay. Now, what do we have left? I'm gonna circle this in red. In each place, I have, there's, in the ones place, I have 12 ones. Mm -hmm. In the tens place, I have 12 tens. And in the hundreds place, I have seven hundreds. So that was what that's what the, um, the blanks are at the end of the problem are for you to write in those numbers. 832 has the same value as 700 
12 tens and 12 ones. Okay, they're just grouped in different ways. They're not grouped base 10, they're grouped in a different way. And so if I wrote it, I don't know if you can see it like this, like the, so when you borrowed it, it goes down to 700 and then from 30, it would be 20 and then you add in the one you borrowed from here, so the 100 and then the 12, would that be right or would you want me to write? Yeah, so I think you're on the right track here. You say that there is now seven hundreds, twelve tens, and twelve ones. That's mm -hmm. the more convenient form for you to subtract. Okay. Okay, so I think that's yeah, maybe right on that one. So kind of like fractions, fractions have different forms for the same value. We don't talk too much about when we subtract that we can rewrite numbers with different forms and having the same value. It's a little bit confusing when you talk about 12 tens, mm -hmm. but they, you can actually rewrite the numbers so they have different values in each place so that you can subtract what you need to. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense now because I was like, what is it asking me for? Mm -hmm. All right, I appreciate you, thank you so much. Mel, I have the same question, so I'm glad you asked. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. I have the same question. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome.